God's house. Yes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We all are going to be rejoicing in him. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Dear Heavenly and Gracious Father, Lord, we thank you for today, God. Yes. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to just forgive us right now for any sin that we may have committed, God, that may try to block us in this time, Lord. We repent, God. And we, and we thank you for forgiving us, Lord, in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now, God, for your house of prayer, Lord. Lord, we pray, God, that your house of prayer we don't turn into a den of robbers and thieves, Lord. But we use it to praise you, God. We just use it to send prayers that reach your throne, God. Lord, we just thank you right now, God. Lord, we thank you for our leaders, Jesus. Yes. Lord, we, we praise you right now, God, for Apostle and Deacon yes, Field, Lord. Lord, we, pr we praise you right now, God, that you will bless the works of their hands, God. Yes, Lord, yes, that you will bless yes. their thoughts and their dreams, God. Yes, Lord, Jesus. that you will bless so their sorry. desires, God. Lord, everything that, that is blessed in them, God, that it will touch the people that fall underneath them, oh God. Yes. Lord, that it will touch their staff, God. Lord, yes. it will touch the people that pray for them, God. Yes. And Lord, we just thank you right now, God. Yes, we thank Lord. you for shifting our lives, God. Yes. Lord, we thank you for letting them never see a bad day, God. Lord, yes. we thank you for never never allow, allowing them to um to live, Lord, um a, a godly life, Jesus. Yes. Lord, we just thank you right now, God. Lord, we pray, God, that you just bless their home, God. Keep any evilness away from their home, God. Yes. Lord, we pray, God, that there is a hedge protecting them each and every day, God. And you send your mightiest angel, God, yes. to guard their home, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, we just yes. pray right now, God, for our, the ministerial staff here at God's House of Deliverance Church, Lord. Lord, we pray, God, that you continue to just pour into each and every one of us, oh God. Yes. Lord, continue to change our hearts, God. Lord, continue to renew our minds in the name of Jesus. Lord, continue to put a burning fire inside of us, Lord, to please you, God. Lord, continue to put a burning desire in us to not sin, God. Lord, continue to put a burning desire in us to pray, Jesus, to fast, God. Lord, we thank you right now, God, for that fire, Lord. And Lord, we thank you that each and every prayer that we will pray individually, God, will touch your throne, God, and it will manifest before us, oh, Lord. And Lord, we pray right now, God, for the servant ministry, God, for, for the deacon board, Lord. We pray for the ushers, Lord. We pray, God, that they continue to serve and don't grow weary, God. Yes. Lord, that they'll continue to serve and not look to the left or to the right, God. But yes. Lord, they'll look to you, Jesus. Yes. They'll look to you for their strength. They'll look to you for their might, God. They'll look to you on how to serve, God. They'll look yes. in your word and watch yes. how Jesus served, and they will serve yes. accordingly, oh God. Yes. And Lord, we just thank you right now, yes. Jesus. Yes. Lord, we pray that you touch the hands of the ministerial staff and the in the servant ministries, oh God. Lord, we pray right now, God, for the congregation, Lord. We pray for their families, God. Yes. Lord, touch their families in a mighty way, Lord. Lord, allow each generation that is going to come from the womb of the women in them in, in the families, oh God. Lord, allow them to renew their um renew the the covenant that they make with you oh god lord don't allow them to be like the people that came after moses god that forgot to renew the covenant lord because it wasn't on their minds god but lord let every seed that comes from every person in this congregation remember that the lord is worthy and that god is number one in the name of jesus and lord we just pray right now god that you touch each and every auxiliary in this church god lord bless us give us new ideas god give us new things to do, Lord. Lord, let us do things that will touch your, touch the nations, God. Lord, let us remember the purpose of each and every auxiliary in this house, oh God. Lord, we pray right now, especially for ministry, oh God. Yes. Lord, we pray especially for children's church, oh God. Lord, we pray especially for teens church, oh God. Lord, we pray right now for the subcommittees, God, for health and wellness, the health and wellness ministry right now, God. Lord, we pray, God, that you just speak into us new ideas, Lord. Yes. Speak into us new ways to touch the body, to, to reach the body, Lord. Send people, God, that'll come and, and be uh, speakers, God. Whatever it is that we need, Lord, you will meet the need, and we thank you right now, Jesus. Yes, yes, Jesus. And Lord, we just pray right now, God, for the, to, for the members and the people that fellowship with us, God. Yes, Lord, um, People that come through our mentor, the mentoring through Apostle, oh God, we pray right now, God, that you meet their needs, God. Touch their minds, God. Lord, direct them, God. Let, Lord, let them 
remind them to let the Holy Spirit lead them and guide them in every way, oh God. Lord, remind them that they have someone to come to with questions, oh God. Lord, you, oh God. And Lord, I just pray right now, God, that every prayer that they lift before you, God, that it is heard, Jesus, that nothing is blocking them, oh God. But Lord, that the way is clear, Lord, and you can hear them, God. And Lord, that they won't grow weary and well-doing, waiting on your word to come to pass or waiting on a prayer to be manifested oh god i pray god that you give them patience god you give them obedience to serve you lord and i just thank you right now for them god i thank you for everything that you're going to do and plant and grow through them oh god and lord we just thank you right now god lord i pray that as the months get colder lord that you cover those that are living on the streets of god lord you you bless the homeless shelter so that they have room enough to receive the people god lord i pray god that even the warming stations will grow more warming stations will uproot in the name of jesus lord i pray god that more people will step into their calling oh god and they will be there for the homeless god for we know god that you have called people to be there for them and i pray god that you wake up whoever it is god I pray that everybody gets in line so that those people can come forth, oh God. Yes, God. And Lord, we pray right now, God, for the incarcerated, Lord. Yes. Lord, we pray right now, God, that even though they are in prison, God, they are not bound, God. Mm-hmm. But Lord, that they can be free, Jesus. They can be free by knowing who you are, God. Lord, I pray that you speak to those who, who want to love you and that are incarcerated. Speak to them in their dreams, God. Lord, send when they call people, when they get their 15-minute call, Lord, I pray, God, that every call that they have is ministering to them, God. Lord, that they're being prophesied to, oh, God, that the people who they talk to don't be afraid to speak the word of God. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. I pray, God, that they even worship you, God, in yes. boldness, God, and not be afraid, Lord, even when they're in their cells, God, Lord, that they're not in bondage to not yes. to pray, and they're not in bondage to worship you yes. because of their bunky, Lord. But I pray, God, that they do it and they're bold, God, and that their bunky is even blessed when they do it, oh, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, I yes. pray for their mind. I pray for their safety, yes. Jesus. Yes. I pray that you keep them out of harm's way, Lord, yes. God. Yes. I pray that any evil that tries to come nigh their dwelling, it won't succeed, yes. oh, God. Lord, I pray that you just heal their body, God. Yes. Heal their minds, yes. God. Lord, even touch the people that are incarcerated that have mental illnesses, oh God. Yes. Lord, yes. I pray they get the yes. proper treatment, God. Yes. Lord, that they're not just treating them as animals and criminals, Lord, but they recognize that they need yes. their minds yes. to be healed, oh God. Yes. Lord, I pray right now, God, for the families of those that are incarcerated, God. Lord, Lord, just be their pillow at, at night, God. Lord, just keep the Lord, your words that you keep our tears in bottles in heaven, oh God. I pray that you keep their tears, Lord, and that you save them, God, and that you just wipe away every hurt and sadness inside of them, Lord. Lord, I pray that you even give them the opportunity to see salvation, Lord, to, to, to walk in salvation, Lord, to get healed, to be set free, to be delivered, Lord. Lord, not, to not let them live in the same bondage they were living in when their family member was incarcerated, yes, God. But yes. we let them just see that the time is not, the time now is to get it right, God. Yes. Yes. Lord, I pray right now, God, for the children, God. Yes. Lord, the word says that um, anyone that tries to take the seed away from a child, woe unto them, Lord. Yes. So, Lord, I pray right now, God, that every person that is an influence of a child, God, is not taking their seed away, oh God. Yes. Lord, but that they are being great teachers. God. Yeah. They're being careful, God. They're being strategic when they're in front of a child, God. Lord, I pray, God, that they, they show them the way, God. Yes. And Lord, yes. we know that if they show them the way, it will never depart from them. Okay? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I pray to touch their minds in school. Make them obedient, Lord. Yes. Teach them how to be patient, God. Yes. Teach them how to be still. Yes. Lord, allow yes, them Lord. to be respectful yes. children, oh God. Yes. Lord, let them to, uh, Lord, I pray that you bless their minds for them to be smart, God. Yes. Lord, so that they can have unthinkable pathways for a future, yes. okay? Yes. Yes. And we just yes. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray for each and every person that is married, God. I pray yes. that their marriage is blessed, God. Yes. I pray that they are fruitful and they multiply, God. I pray that they, they, uh, convey, manifest every commitment that they promised before the Lord, yes. okay? I pray that you are with them um, in their struggles, God. And I pray that they remember you when they're happy, Jesus. Lord, I pray for the singles right now, God, that you continue to keep them, God. Lord, touch their hearts, God. Make them confident, Jesus. 
Lord, let them remember that even when it's so, so hard and it's so, so dark, God, that you are there, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you touch their hearts and change them, Lord. Lord, help them to be the person that they that you want them to be in their marriage, God. Help them to prepare, Jesus, and make the way, God, for their husband, oh God. And Lord, I pray for the state. Lord, I pray for this city, God, and I pray for this nation, Lord. Lord, I pray that we remember that you are the leader of our soul. And you are the leader of this world, God. So that every so that everything that is going on in this world right now, God, it was orchestrated by you, Lord. You're, you know every move that's about to be made before it's even made, God. So, Lord, I pray everything that's undercover, trying to be sneaky, I pray that it's revealed, God. Yes, Lord. And I pray yes. that you go in and snuff it out, Lord, and yes. clean, up, uh, clean up this nation. God. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. I pray, Lord, that even if they don't know you, Jesus, that you still are there orchestrating things, God. Yes. Lord, that you just somehow, some way, just get up in there, God, and make sure things are done right, God, yeah. that things work in the favor for your holy people, yeah. God. Yeah. And we thank you right now, God, God, that's not too big for you, God. We know yeah. that you're yeah. We pray your holy name for that, Lord, God. And Lord, I just pray right now, God, for those who are sick, God, Lord, those that are in the hospitals, God, Lord, that are in rehabilitation centers, Lord, I just pray right now, God, that you um, touch the families for one, God. Lord, help them to be people of prayer, God. Yeah. Lord, help them to be people that fast and believe that you are, are the ultimate healer, God. Lord, touch the uh, bodies of each and every person in the hospital, God, that are struggling with diseases, God. Lord, we know you healed a man from leprosy in the word of God, and it took nothing but five dips. Yeah. Or however many dips, God. We thank you right now. Thank you, Jesus. We know nothing is too big for you, God. We know no disease is too big for you. So, Lord, we just thank you right now for, for touching those that you that you said are to be healed, God. Lord, we thank you that, that you are who you are in our lives, God. Lord, we bless your holy name right now, God. I just want everybody to lift up a praise to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to just give a word of prayer before service proceeds. 
Dear Heavenly and Gracious Father, Lord, we thank you for this time that is coming before us, God. Lord, we pray right now, God, that you touch Apostle Martina Way heal, God. Yes, Lord, to bring forth your mighty word, God. Yes, Lord, take away any anxiousness, God. Take away any worry, God. Take away any thoughts of being inside ourselves, God. But let, yeah. uh, Lord, I pray right now, God, that the Holy Spirit just reigns and flourishes through her, God. Hallelujah. Touch her tongue, Lord, yes, that it not get tied, Lord. Touch this mic that it not messes up, no yes. demon can come upon yes. it, oh God. Yes. And Lord, I pray, God, that as this word comes forth, oh God, Lord, it does the job that it was planned to do. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's be seen. Come on, church. Can we give a little bit more praise? I, I can't preach unless we have a certain level of atmosphere. You see, we shifted. And I need to be able to preach when the Holy Spirit is high. Lord, we thank you. We praise your name on today. We bind the sleeping spirit. We bind the third year in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bind all worry, Lord. We bind that spirit that drains in the name of Jesus. We speak a refreshing oil. We speak a refreshing in the body, oh God. We speak the body falls aligned with your spirit, oh God. Lord, do a fresh wind in this place right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, move like never before. We bind a block in every way in the name of Jesus and we sit into the pit. We bind a pain in the mighty name of Jesus. If I Sunday you get it up Sunday. We bind a sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind up disease in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the body to fall in line with the word of God. We believe that the body will fall in line from head to toe. If I Sunday you get it up Sunday. We speak right now the Holy Spirit will fall upon the mind. Will fall upon the sinuses. Will fall upon the throat will fall upon the mouth, will fall upon the shoulders, will fall upon the chest, will fall upon the belly, will fall upon the legs, will fall upon the, the hands, will fall upon the feet. We believe for a total healing. We believe for breakthrough and manifestation. Y'all don't hear me. I don't just need your voice. I need your spirit. I need some people who have expectation of God moving. Y'all don't hear me. See, y'all came to church for attendance. You could have stayed home for that. I need to worship him. I need to worship him. God desires for you to worship him. When we come together in the body of Christ, we come to edify each other. And you can't encourage me if you set yourself. Glory be to God. Lord, I declare a joy in this place. Get it up, my son. Get it up, my son. Lord, energize the saints. Oh, by Sunday, can you get out by I declare there'll be shift all in this place. I, I declare that the shift don't stay within these walls. I, I declare that it goes through your blood like y'all know what I'm talking about. If my Sunday, can you get it out by Sunday? I declare there's a shift in finances. I declare. What yeah. about increase, 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 increase? Oh, my Sunday, can you get out Sunday? We find that set spirit in and about Sunday. We declare a move of God like never before. Break, devil, break. You will subdue in the house of the living God. If my son did the open the deliverance power of the most high God, shift in here. Shift in this place. Oh, my son did he get it up, my son. Lord, we thank you. Oh, God, we praise you. We're going to praise you now because when the word hit, it's going to be right on time. Oh, my son did he get it up, my son. Lord, we thank you. We speak and we have expectations of your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, everyone agree in your heart and in your mouth. And you say amen. Praise the Lord. Turn to Exodus 14. I'm ready to do this thing. Y'all ready? Exodus 14, verses 5 through 31. That's practically the whole chapter. So y'all going to have to ride with me. Y'all going to ride to die one. Amen. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. We, ride. we ride. 
Exodus 14, verses 5 through 31. I know y'all gonna get on the phone talking about apostles been real different lately. <laughs> Amen. Exodus 14, verses 5 through 31, the New International Version, and it reads, When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled Pharaoh and his officials changed their minds about them and said, What have we done? We have let the Israelites go and have lost their services. So he had his chariot made ready and took his army with him. He took 600 of the best chariots, along with all the other chariots of Egypt, with officers all over them. The Lord hardened the heart of the Pharaoh, king of Egypt, so that he would pursue the Israelites. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all yeah. think the devil do everything, but God set you up. Yeah. <laughs> so the Lord hardened the heart of the Pharaoh, king of Egypt, so that he pursued the Israelites who were marching out boldly. Verse 9. The Egyptians, all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen and troops, pursued, pursued the Israelites and overtook them as they camped by the sea near Pi Herath, opposite Baal Safan. As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up, and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified, and they cried out to the Lord. Mm -hmm. They said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt mm -hmm. that you brought us to the desert to die? Oh, wow. right, right, right. What have you done to us by bringing us out uh -huh. of Egypt? Uh -huh. Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. <laughs> Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord. He will bring it to you today. Yeah. The Egyptians you see today will never, y'all say never. Never. You will never see it again. The Lord will fight for you and you need only to be still. Yeah. Verse 15, then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Egyptians to move on. Ain't that God telling you to stop crying and do what I tell you to do? Yeah. Yeah. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so they will go in after them. And I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army through his chariots and his horsemen. Verse 18. Yeah. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord yeah, yeah. when I gain glory through Pharaoh, his chariots, and his horsemen. Uh -huh. Then the angel of God, who had been traveling in front of the Israel's, in front of Israel's army, withdrew and went behind them. Uh -huh. And the pillar of, of, of cloud also moved from in front and stood behind them, coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel. Throughout the night, the cloud brought darkness to, to one side and light to the other side, so neither went near each other all night long. Mm -hmm. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that yeah. east wind. Yeah. And turned it into dry land. Y'all, yeah. yeah. I can just preach about that east wind. Come on, somebody. <laughs> the waters were divided. And the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. 23. Mm -hmm. the, Egypt, the Egyptians pursued them, and all the uh, Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. Come on, somebody. Wow. Okay. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and the cloud at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. <laughs> Y'all need to come on, come on. Somebody say it's a setup. He jammed the wheels of their chariots so they had difficulty driving. And the Egyptians said, let's get away from these Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against, against Egypt. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at daybreak, the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians, uh, the Egyptians were fleeing toward it, and the Lord swept it into the sea. Verse 28. The water flowed back 
covered the chariots, covered the horsemen, and the entire army of the Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea, not one of them survived. Mm. But the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground. Y'all say dry ground. Yeah. With a wall of water on the right <laughs> and a wall of water on the left. That day, the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Wow. And when the Israelites saw the mighty hand of God displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses, his servant. I'm going to teach for a second. Stand firm and you will see your deliverance. Stand firm and you will see your deliverance. Lord, do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So here we have this story about people who became free and escaped bondage and they had fear issues. But yet, they did what the Lord told them to do. See, he protected them from the enemy to a point that which caused them to see a miracle. Y'all need to be with me. That God brought them to an impossible impasse. I just want to stay right here, right here for a second. He brought them to an impossible impasse on purpose. I need you to think to yourself how many things that you have come up against that seem impossible. How many uh, reports say you can't do this. It's impossible. How many uh, health issues that might say you can't get healed from this. It's impossible. Uh, how many times that you had a dream and you told somebody and said you can't do that. It's impossible. But yet you heard God say something different. Uh, that God led you to a road down a path of impossibility. How would God lead you into a situation that seemingly looks like you will fail? Why would God set you up to fail when it makes him look bad? I don't know about you, but I don't serve a God who likes bad press. I serve a God that likes results. Y'all need to be with me. If God brought you to it, he gonna do what? Bring you through it. Y'all need to come with me today. God brought him to an impasse that because he said I need you to know that what I'm doing is not of you because if it's in you I'm not going to get the glory so I'm going to put a situation that only I can do for you and I'm going to do it on purpose so that you can get your spirit in mind and learn how to trust me we in this thing together baby and if you don't trust me now when I take it to the promised land you'll act like you don't need me so I got to break it to a land of impossibility so I can show my power. I feel like preaching a little bit. Here's the thing I love best about this story. I love best is that God didn't have to do none of it. Y'all, y'all ain't talking to me. Come on. God did this because He loved them. Now, 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 come on, somebody. Usually, when people love us, they give us cards and flowers and candy and and and, and take us out to dinner. But how many people? You know what part of C for you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all with folk right now are in a romantic relationship and then they all talking about let's go half. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But God said I'm a part the what? Oh, y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all talking about I like my half these relationships, okay? I, 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 I need something a little bit more because if my guy will part of water for me, baby, I have expectations. Y'all come on, somebody. Here. All these miracles God provided so they could escape and go to the land in which he promised them. Here's the thing. God been doing miracles all the while. If you knew that story, just read the whole book of Exodus. You know that story? Uh, 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 Moses was sitting there doing all kinds of tricks with that stand. And turned it into a snake, picked it up. He took that. He was dropping out, dropping like, oh, come on, pick it back up. You know, he was doing all kinds of stuff. With that, with that seven. And then, then one of the biggest miracles is that death just walked through that place and they just walked out. But yet they were still scared. See, I know we read the story talking about how much do you need, Israel? How much do you need? I mean, God already told you he loved you. See, you know, y'all, y'all ain't with me today. Well, let me go preach it, Tarina. But God already told you that he loved you. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But I, I, that same finger that you're pointing at them, please point. 
pointed at yourself. Yeah. Matter of fact, lay hands on yourself because if you look at everything that God did for you, come on, somebody. We still in the prayer line talking about, I'm afraid, God. Does God hear my prayers? But I brought you through my command and you still get saved. Yeah. It is safe to say that in, 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 in the eyes of man, God is about as good as his last miracle. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about? Come on. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's a low blow, but it's yeah. the truth. It's the truth, yeah. If it don't fit, then it must have quit. Come on, somebody. Yeah, that's true. Come on. That's true. See, like a guy that was 88, I, I ain't, what have you done for me lately? Right, right. Come on, somebody. We get that miracle on Tuesday. By Friday, we need a fix. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. So, some, some of us don't need it like that. A month from now, give it a 30 day prick. <laughs> And then we on the prayer line talking about y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Because we struggle just like Israel. Come on, somebody. Right, right. But yet, even in the struggle, God still kept proving his love. Come on, somebody. He still proved his love. And if we read the whole Old Testament, he kept proving it over and over. I mean, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. And so what, what Moses wanted them to understand is that if they stand firm in their faith, they will see their deliverance in the giants that they fought yeah. back in the day. Yeah. They won't ever see those giants again. And what the Lord wanted me to tell you guys house, he wanted to tell you like Moses told them, stand firm in your faith. Yeah. You will see your deliverance yeah. and the enemies that you've been fighting, the challenges you've been fighting, all those things you've been fighting, God says, when I shift this next wave into your life, you won't ever see those Egyptians again. I'm glad that three people received that. Those three people gonna see change. The rest of y'all, you just have to wait out till the next shift come. Come on, somebody. So I'm gonna tell you four reasons to stand firm in your faith. Four reasons to stand firm in your faith. The first reason is this. God always has a plan. Yeah. Oh, y'all need to be with me. Yeah. Are y'all with me today? Yeah. God always has a plan. Exodus 14, verses 13 through 16. We just going to go through the main text, right? Thank you, Jesus. It says, Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance that the Lord will bring you today. And the Egyptians you see today, when you will never see again. And the Lord will fight for you. What would he do? He will fight for you, and you need only to be still. Thank you, Jesus. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff. Stretch out your hand over the sea. Divide the water so the Israelites can get from one end to the other. Let me help you. It gets to a point where you just prayed out. I'm sorry. I know it says in season and out of season and, and everything, but some people pass your season. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you've been praying about the same thing that he's been fixing all this time for you. And he's I'm like, Lord, Lord. He said, but I told you to get up and get a job. But Lord, I need some money. But I, I told you to go over there and ask him for a job. Oh, Lord, I need the money. But I, I did. I handed you a job card. I, I, come on, somebody. He said, get up and put a suit on and get that job. <laughs> come on, somebody. You ever met somebody who was hungry, but they had a full a refrigerator full of food? You ever met them? I am so hungry. I'm like, did you just go grocery shopping yesterday? But I don't want that food. But yeah. you don't want that food. I don't feel like cooking. I right, am so right. hungry. Lord, right. somebody sold some ribs into my life. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Lord, you said you'd give me anything. Oh, Lord. Hey, come on, somebody. But you got a food. Come on, somebody. He said, get out and make your own ribs. Come on. He said, why you come crying to me? I'm tired of hearing that same broken record. I told you what to do. Have faith in what I told you what to do. Yeah. Give me something fresh. Yeah. Give me something new. You've been praying about this side, but the other side is weak and dry. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to come talk to me about this other side, but you don't want to be bothered with that side because you don't want to fix what you need to fix. So you rather just come over here and deal with this issue because it's comfortable. See, some people like to be wounded on one side and strong on the other. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. They go, I, I just feel like going crazy. You need to get into a place and position when God tells you to do something, baby, you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, God has a plan. The problem is we don't trust it. Yeah. Do you know if God expressed to you the blueprint of your life, you would pass out. That is a yep. true statement. That's 
And it's not like the dance <laughs> and the stress, like, huh, oh, somebody catch me. <laughs> it's the like they've been in a coma for six months. I, yeah. Yeah. We really don't know what to do. Yeah. Come on, somebody. God has a plan because God will do some things in your life that you couldn't even paint, write, see on your television. You can't even see this on scandal. It's how cold. Oh, y'all don't know what I'm talking about? Don't act like you don't know what happened last week to Olivia Pope. Don't lie to me. We in church. You want to know what happened to B613? Stop playing. Stop lying. The truth is, God wants us to get into a place that even if he don't tell us the plan right away, we will go because we trust him. Yes. He'll tell you enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's a such thing as too much information. Yes. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. See, what God knows That's his right. children. Mm -hmm. He tell you too much. Mm -hmm. You start counting the cost. Now, you didn't count the cost when you were sitting, but you sure didn't count it when God wanted to bless you. <laughs> wow. Uh, come on, y'all, y'all, come on. That's come on. You used to be sitting there talking about, Lord, come to me, Lord, come to me. You ain't caught nothing. You were just hoping you slide back. But when God said, I want to bless you, you were like, now, wait a minute, God. Now, um, what do you mean? Yeah. What do I have to do? Yeah. Well, what time is this going to happen? Yeah. God, I'm just not qualified. Lord, I just, come on now. Right, right, right. That's real. I decided to try to think about it. I said, most of us are scared to be successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're scared yeah. because we're creatures of comfort. Yeah. But the Bible ain't never said that he want us comfortable. He wanted us prosperous. Right, right, right. Oh, oh, oh hey, 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 am I still on toes? Right, right. Your prosperity will not only make you uncomfortable, but unless you're used to soaring like an eagle. Come on, yeah. come on. Eagles have a totally different disposition than pigeons. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me y'all talking about, I ain't no pigeon, I'm a seagull. Whatever, they still eat trash. Let me help you. Right, 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 right. right. It's time to fly higher. Yeah. Right, right. Don't ask for higher. And then when God wants you to climb the mountain, you have an attitude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Don't ask for higher when the food that you eat at down zero has to change. Yeah. So that yeah. means your palate has to change. Right. That means that your schedule has to change. Yeah. That means everything about you has to change because yeah. the altitude is different. Right. It's going to be uncomfortable because he is raising you high. Right, right, right. I need to talk to some people who want to be delivered from themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. This message is really not that much yeah. about the devil. Let me really help you. Yeah. If you have not decoded this word, <laughs> it's about your flesh. Right, right, right. That's yeah. Right. We don't need the devil's help on this. We scared already. See, see, look. The spirit, there's a difference between the spirit of fear and the flesh of afraid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Come on, come on, come on. Huh, huh, huh? Yeah. See, the spirit of fear will hold you captive where you're afraid of everything. Yeah, sure. The flesh of it all uh -huh. is that you're afraid of a particular aspect uh -huh. because of the fact that you just don't know what's next. Uh -huh. Because it will bring you into a level of discomfort and criticism uh -huh. that makes you very uneasy and anxiety filled. Uh -huh. Therefore, that is not a spirit. That's a flesh and mental incapacity. Lord, help me. Inability, thank you, Amen. to be able to see what it is that God has for you right. and be able to receive that you are qualified to be in that position. Yeah. 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 Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Because some of us believe that oh, I'll be there in 20 years. Well, what if God wants you somewhere else in 20 years? Yeah. Well, I'll be there in five years. Well, God, when if you want to bring it up and make it one year? Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. If he put it in you and stirred it up yeah. and put a, come on, somebody, yeah. and positioned you to do that thing, then why are we holding stuff back? That's yeah, right. That's yeah, right. that's true. We have to be delivered from the old mindset in order to walk in the new one. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. God says, stop crying and move on. Yeah. You ought to be with me? Yeah, yeah. Or just come on, take that tissue, have a last funeral, and move on. <laughs> come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. It's time to move on. Start evaluating that prayer list. Yeah. The one, you know, the same one you've been praying for in the last five years, that same exact <laughs> list that you did not alter, but more, I'm sorry, you added to it. Yeah. That same list mm -hmm. that gets longer every year. I'm more than positive that he got at least three out of that million. Come on, somebody. Come on. 
But some of us are like, no, no, no. You ever, you ever hear somebody who asks you for a breakthrough and you say, oh, pray, pray. And it's like, pray that I get a job. You know, all right, so you pray it. You say, oh, please, Lord, let me get a job. And they, and they get a job. Oh, I got a preach for it. I got a job. He's like, praise the Lord. We're going to cross that. No, 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 no. Keep me on there. Mm-hmm. Wait, come on. Keep me on there because, you know, I just want to make sure that God has a better job for me then. <laughs> come on. Yeah. But God gave you right. what you prayed yeah. Yeah. for. Yeah. Right. Let's move on. Right, 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 right. Do you understand? Right. But some of us stuck because we're so afraid of going backward. Yeah. Yeah. You will be backward just for your mentality being in the past. That's true. It's time to move forward. Now, did I tell you it was easy? No, I didn't no. say it was easy. I just said, do it. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. <laughs> just do it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be all cold with God. He said, why are you crying? Move. Amen. Amen. Come on. Isn't that what he said? Yeah. He didn't say, there, there, Moses. Now hug the people and kiss them and tell them how much I love them. Right. Tell them how much I care for them. Tell them. He said, we ain't got time for that. Stop crying. Tell them to move. Yeah. Come on. All right. I'll talk about she, yeah, she gully today. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number two, four ways to stand firm in your faith. Number two is God will always lead, guide, and protect us. Amen. Amen. This is simple. We understand that. Or do we? No, not really. God will always lead, guide, and protect us. All right, so Exodus 14, verses 19 and 20. Okay? It says, Then the angel of God, who had been traveling in front of Israel's army, withdrew and went behind them. The pillar of cloud also moved from in front to behind, right, right. coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel throughout the night, and the cloud brought darkness to one side and light to the other, so that neither went near the other all night long. Amen. See, God protects us, yes, supernaturally, correct? Yeah. And yes, he has his angels walking, watching over us, correct? Yeah. And yes, his Holy Spirit is guarding us, correct? Yes. yes. Even when we're sleeping, correct? Yes, yeah. yes. Let me see what what this what God wants us to know is that God is even protecting your destiny. Amen. 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 <laughs> Y'all, come on, somebody. Yeah. Lord, yeah. Guess who He's protecting it from? Me. You. You. See, here, here, here's the first part. God moved from in front to behind. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Let's just stay right there. This, this is juicy right here. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, God. I'm following you, but then you move your position on me. Right. Wait, wait, wait. I, I just need to go to seminary for a minute. Can we go to seminary for a second? I need to have a theological perspective. Let's analyze why God would go behind you. Mm-hmm. Not just duplicate himself and be in front of you and behind you. He moved from in front of you to behind you. See, theologically speaking, looking at this scripture, it came to my understanding and rationale and my logic that perhaps God came behind them because they were so close to the promise they could see it. Oh, y'all, they, uh, they didn't need a map no more because they can, there it is. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Because when they were blind in darkness, they needed God's light. Lord, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what it is. I just know you, you're going to take me to a land yeah. you promised me. Yeah. So I don't really know where it's at. See, so I'm going to follow you, God. And I don't really understand what's happening to me and why it's happening now. But I'm going to follow you. Yeah. But then we see the promise oh, with the naked eye. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. And we literally know that all the signs point to go. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, God has to change his position. I, I need somebody to be yeah. with me. Yeah. Because now we know exactly where we're going so you don't got to lead like us because we already know the route watch this so what he does is he comes behind you y'all, y'all don't know what you're talking about he has to step behind you to make sure you don't go back y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about he got to make sure because I got to block you because uh, you're going to get a little afraid of that little impasse I put right up there so I'm going to make sure you don't go nowhere y'all know what I'm talking about somebody say defense that goes on defense y'all know what I'm talking about he makes sure that you don't go behind you, but watch this, watch this. He stands right between you and your hater. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He stands right between you and the manipulators. He stands right in between you and the Egyptians. He says, right between you and your enemies. He says, right between you and the gossip. He says, right between you and the rumor mill. He says, right between them. And he makes them dark and you not. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And he makes sure that while you're going to your promise, there is no spiritual miscarriage. Talking about no matter where you go, the angel will just cover your back. So I said, God got 
go back. See, I, I need, I need, I need somebody to understand that he only got your front, but he got your back. He took time. He took time. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And reposition. They didn't even ask him. Lord, reposition yourself. Because he made the plan. He know what he's doing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He knew that they were going to come and follow him. He knew that they were going to talk about you. He knew you was going to be scared and want to turn around. He knew. So he blocked you from yourself. At the same time, he blocked your enemy with one move. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Huh? Hey. Come on, somebody. God will take a situation for your good and it will fund a curse. God's a businessman. He don't overwork for nobody. See, he created the whole world and still chilled on one day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Huh? He a businessman. He can take one small swoop and totally fix everybody's situation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so, I tell you right now, don't you allow yourself yes. to mess up your journey yes. or to backpedal or go to the past yes. that's been dead a long time ago. Yes. I declare in Jesus' name yes. that nothing will keep us from our destiny. Yes. I declare in Jesus' name yes. that no fear yes. will get in the way of our promise. Yes. I declare in Jesus' name yes. that no doubt yes. will move behind us. Yes. I declare in Jesus' name yes. that nothing will separate you from your purpose nothing will separate you from your success that nothing will separate you from the glory of God that you will get everything you pray for I need somebody to worship on that one I need somebody who truly believes they will get everything they pray for I want somebody to truly believe that what God promised them is for them I need somebody to see their promise yes Here's the third one. Thank you, Lord. Holy Four God. ways to stand firm in your faith. Number three. Thank you, Jesus. God will work miracles for you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, come on. Yes. See, a lot of people believe that God loves them, but the miracle thing, you think, you know, there's, there's a, a famine no. on miracles. That's real. Or you got to qualify, you know, uh-uh. send in your W-2s and stuff. Nothing on that. got to do an application <laughs> for that miracle. Yes. Come on, somebody. Like, no, nah, no, nah, I ain't going to do that miracle. That's too small. But last time I checked, I was at weddings making wine. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That wasn't the last supper. That wasn't communion. Let's, let's toast it up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's what that was. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That was a miracle. Yeah. Was it not a miracle? Yeah. How is it that he giving wine to everybody else, but he won't, he won't take care and help take care of your property tax? You don't know what I'm talking about. Right. But he passing out wine. Right. Come on, somebody. Some of you won't even ask. I'm talking about God needs to heal the world. He don't need to worry about my home drama, but God passing that wine. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Huh? They can drink water. What's that? Come on. But he said, you shall have wine and celebrate your wedding. Come on, somebody. See, I, there's some people in here that's believing God for some weddings in here and say, I ain't got the money. But God said, I will take care of it. I will turn water into wine for you to have that wedding that you drink to. Yeah. Okay. I done went to a whole nother dimension. If you don't care, that's fine. But you better thank God right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you believe that your house will be paid off. Come on. I believe that maybe God don't care like that, but he do. Because if he can turn water to wine, he can pay off some houses. Oh, come on. There is nothing too small for God. We talk about there's nothing too big. But there ain't nothing too small. God will work miracles for you. Yes, I'll prove it to you. Exodus 14, verses 20, 21 through 22. Y'all making me preach hard. I got about four people that's praising God and rescuing you in your troubles. I need you to act like you want you like you're a worshiper. Because some of y'all be worshiping over some stuff that ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in here. You get a day off of work, then you're like, hey, you know what? You need to be come up up here and worshiping God. Exodus 14, verses 21 through 22, the yes. NIV. Yes. Thank you. It says, Then Moses stretched out his hand yes. over the sea. Yes. All that night.
midnight and the Lord drove the sea back yeah. with a strong east wind and turned into dry land yeah. and the waters divided and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground yes, with a wall of water on the right and a wall of water on the left. Yes, Lord. Oh, How many of y'all know that being in a relationship with God has perks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Y'all, 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 y'all know. Yeah. Don't you know this is a marriage? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. We the bride, he the groom. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all know what that is? Yes, Do you know there's perks to being the bride of Christ? Yeah. You know? Everybody getting rings. We, we can seize the body. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, y'all see y'all like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Why you asking about a house and a car? He raising the dead. What y'all talking about? Huh? How, how he hitting people? Huh? We the pride of Christ. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. I told you to come up a level. Come on. I told you to come up a level. I, I need him to do some stuff that's not humanly possible to prove that we in this marriage together. Y'all got to about. Yeah. I, I need somebody to really understand what I'm talking about in the name of Jesus. I, yeah. Woo. Yeah. I see when you read the Bible and understand, wait a minute, we married and we won. Hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. But we won, then that means every one of the ground that I tread upon is mine because it belongs to my group. Y'all, y'all all about. Yeah. I got about four people like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, somebody! I ain't playing. I, I ain't playing. I be walking around like mine, 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 mine. Come on, somebody! Yeah, yeah. He will not withhold any good thing from us. Come on, somebody! Yeah. So, if you're in a relationship with the Lord, obviously you know He loves you. Yeah. Thank you. And if you're not in a relationship with the Lord, please let me be the first to tell you that God really loves you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. But how many of you? can conceive the type of love that will cause him to move the waters for you. Wait. Huh? Wait, how romantic is that? Wait a minute. Huh? He said, boo, I'll move this water for you. Hold on, wait, wait, y'all. Y'all sitting here singing Monica songs and y'all don't really know what that means. For you, I will. Come on, somebody. He's moving water. Do you know what's in that water? Sharks? Yeah. Octopi? Come on. Yeah. All kinds of creatures, yeah. stuff that's not even in America. Come on, stop playing. Yeah. 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 And he said, I'm going to tell them to step aside. Wow. And because every knee shall bow, they're going to be like, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yeah. And they won't even reach out for your leg. You can just walk on dry ground. He didn't say damp ground. He didn't say moist ground. Yeah. Right. Every droplet, yeah. every dew drop yeah. had to obey God. Y'all, 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 y'all missed that. Y'all. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Because... If God do half of what he promised, y'all think that's all. No, no. Mm. Because when you ask for a bill paid, you say, God, if you just pay half. No, 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 no. God does a complete work. So when you understand what he said, I'm a part of the waters, he did not say the people walk through mud. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Right, right. right. Huh? They walk across dry, dusty, rocky ground. And he did that for you. Yeah. Yes, I need you to raise your faith. Yes, Jesus. Because yes. some of y'all ain't got what you pray for because you don't believe no more. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna keep it 100. Yeah. That's true. That's because true. you got tired of waiting mm-hmm. and said he ain't gonna do it. Mm-hmm. But you'll pray just in case he might. Yeah. You know how people play lottery just in case it hit today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play it because I'll be mad if I didn't play it today and then come out and it came out. Yeah. And I've been playing the same number for 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I'm preaching real. Yeah. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. 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 You have to get to a point yeah. that you're going to trust God or not. Yeah. Yeah. Are we in this thing? Yes. Are we in it? Yes. 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 And so here it is. <laughs> that God moved the waters just because he loved them. Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. It's so cool. Let's go a step further. Watch this. So he moved the waters, right? Uh-huh. And then what did what what did Israelites do? They started tripping. Right. They're like, wait, wait, hold on. I ain't never seen this before. Uh, is this supposed to be the grave I'm supposed to be in? Yeah. Wow. Because uh, they ain't got no graves up in this desert. We could have did that up in Egypt. Mm-hmm. 
Now, come on, somebody. Yeah. Don't try to play God like you see something impossible. Oh, let me go in the house. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. You see something that don't look right. Let me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. come on, somebody. Yeah. They were afraid of the miracle because God's love was just that much. Yeah. How many of you are actually afraid about how much God truly loves you? Right. Don't play with me. Yeah. Don't play with me. Right. You want to test God his love relationship? Go on a love journey with God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go on a love journey yeah. with God. Yeah. And just about a whole bunch of boo boo kisses and hugs. You understand? Yeah. He's going to actually show you how much he loves you. You better be ready to receive it. Don't be like, oh, God, I'm not worthy. God, I'm not worthy. Wait, wait, wait. We're getting this thing together, baby. We won. Right, right, right. And if, if I'm married to you, I don't marry trash, y'all. Right? Come on. Right. Are we doing this tonight? Right, right. That's right. Amen. Amen. We get to a place where we have to learn how to receive what God has called us to have. Now watch this. They were the favorite, the chosen, yet they struggled. Watch this. The question they posed in the midst of the miracle was, why God send us out this way? That made me to investigate what there are other ways to go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on. Somebody say options. Come on, options. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the only the prophetic people know what options are. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Exodus 13, <laughs> verses 17 through 18. Let's journey on a chapter ahead. Just journey on with me. This is a good one. It's for your educational purpose. Amen. What was it? Exodus 13, verses 17 through 18. When well, y'all got to say God. Praise the Lord. It says, when Pharaoh let the people go, God did not leave them on the road through the Philistine country. Mm-hmm. Sounds like an option to me. Yeah. Though it was shorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For God said if they faced war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. Come on. Come on. So God led the people around no. by the desert yeah. road toward the Red Sea. Yeah. Come on, this was on purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the Israelites went up and out of Egypt ready for battle. I just want to talk about this for a second. This, this feels good in my spirit. So there was two roads that led to the promised land. There was the one through Philistine country. Come on. That was paved. Had a Starbucks on every corner. Yeah. Everybody goes there. Yeah. Um, the elite hang out on that road, yeah. as well as the haters and the most powerful. Yeah. But it's the shortest road to get to the promise. Right. Uh, you need to be with me. Yeah, yeah. But then there's a winding road in the back, you know, the alleyway. Yeah. The back side of the desert that people don't go into because a lot of people who go back there think they don't make it, they die. How many, how many of y'all know yeah. that some people who quit on their road to their promise? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I just I just need somebody to understand. That's not a popular road. Most people don't go there. It is not likely. Matter of fact, it's the road that when you go there, people really don't see you. They don't see what you're doing. They don't see where you're going. There's not a light that light there. The only thing you have is your journey. There's no distraction. You are isolated. I need somebody to be with me. I need you to look at the path of the life that you are going and see which road you're on. Are you on the Philistine road? Or are you on the desert road? Are you by yourself? Or you got your buffet? I need somebody to know what road you on. What road did God take you? Now watch this. God said, I can't take them on a pretty road. Because they'll have so many haters that will see that there will be a wall. And they will puck out and go back to body. Yeah. Y'all, y'all ain't be with me. But if I take them to the Rocky Rocky Road, since it's only battle there, they've been trained to battle back in Egypt. They know how to do that. Because when they left, the Bible said they were battle ready. Let me express to you the difference between a war and a battle. See, a battle is when two forces, no more than three, come against each other and they fight. A war are many battles, yeah. hundreds and hundreds of different battles ongoing at the same time to clobber you. And if you ain't strong and you just came out your deliverance, you ain't strong in faith or in body to take on all of hell coming after your destiny. I need somebody that won't get mad at God.
because you in this road that everybody teasing you about. I, I, I need somebody that don't want to have the adoration quite on this road. I need somebody that will let God birth them out on this road because he births them out in private. How many of you know that God prospers in private? God prospers in private. Because the only people who knew about that Red Sea was the enemy and them. The neighbors didn't see it. The Bible didn't declare that the country next to them saw it. No, nobody saw it but between them and, and, and the enemy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Who told it? The fish? Who told it? The octopi? Who told it? The shark? Who told it? Nobody told it but them. That means when they told the story about how they made it over. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. They heard it straight from them. And they knew it was God. Because when they told it, they was already on the other side. You know what I'm talking about? So when the haters said, whatever happened to so and so, they said they had a dream. They said they had a church. They said they had a situation. I ain't heard from them. They said, turn on the news. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about? And you will find a prim and prime dream. The Bible said that their mouth be full of honey and their mouth dripping with milk. And they'll be standing there in their promised land. Somebody say, I need somebody to grab hold to that promise. Y'all yeah. making me preach so hard. I don't know about y'all. Let's go to number four. Hallelujah. Four ways to stand firm in your faith. Yes. The fourth way is God will affirm our faith with victory. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. What? God will affirm our faith with victory. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. After God said up here, move bodies of water, mm -hmm. then found an alternate route for you. Yes, Come on. Yes. Then set it up where when you fight, you ain't even got to fight like that. Yes. He just really setting you up to prosper yes, in the same move, killing off your enemies. Yes. Then God said, Come over here and look at the bodies. Because uh -huh. I need to prove to you. And you have to see with your own eyes how much I love you. Yes, yeah. thank you, Lord. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. How much yes. I'll do miracles for you. Yes, Lord. But then on top of it, after all that, I'm going to still affirm your faith even with the victory. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Exodus 14, 29 through 31. Thank you, it says, but the Israelites went through the sea uh -huh. on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. And that day, y'all say that day. That day. The Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians lying down on the shore. And when the, Egypt, when the Israelites saw the mighty hand of the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord yes. and put their trust in him yes. and in Moses, his servant. Yes. I tell you the truth. God will use victory to keep you yes. encouraged. You, oh, come on, somebody. Yes, he knows. Yes. He knows what we struggle with. Yes. He knows we can't go too long without a victory. Come on, somebody. Yes. We get all physical. Yes. Come on, come on. We get finicky like a lot. I don't know. I don't know. I know. He said, here's a video. Here, here's some victory, sugar. Come on. Let, let me prove to you how much I, I will win this for you. God is fighting for your heart every day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He is fighting for your love every day. He affirms his relationship with us every day. Every time he blesses us, this affirmation of his love. Don't you know that love is his language? Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't know that's his language? So if he loves adoration, he's going to give it back. If he loves service, he he gonna give it back. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. He, if you want to know how God moves, figure out who the love language is about. Because the Bible declares that he is love. He said, you know what? If you need a win for this relationship to work, I'm going to give you a win, baby. And we're going to win in the end all together. But I'm going to show you every battle that you won. I'm going to show you every war that you won. I'm just going to throw in a seat for GP. I mean, because I'm good like that. He will do it. I would snatch land from somebody and say, hey, boo, that's you. You want another one? You want that one, too? Boo, that's you, too. And you, too. You want that land, too? I'll give it to your kids. Boo, that's y'all's tomorrow. What you want now? How much you want me to love you? Let daddy tell you how much I love you. Come on, somebody. What else you want? What else you need? What else? Some of y'all talk about God ain't going to be by me. What kind of love relationship is that? He said, when you operate in that kind of spirit, are you leaving me here all neglected because I need your love, too. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Why would we serve a God of love and put love in us and he don't want it back? Yeah. It's a love relationship. Yeah. 
relationship is a give and take. That's why he said you come and praise me. That's why if you don't trust me, you can't please me. Well, come on, somebody. It takes trust to make this relationship work. You don't have to trust me. See, we're talking about it's impossible to please him without faith. Don't you know faith is trust? We can't do this without each other trusting each other. I can't bless you with all my kingdoms unless I trust you. This has got to be a trust. And so, you have to understand, if you ain't got what you want now, God says, stand firm. You will see your deliverance. God ain't like all those people that said they was going to do it again. Oh, no, no, no. The Bible said he is a man that cannot lie. He says, stand firm. If you start wavering, you start messing up the relationship. If you start stepping out on God, you start messing up the relationship. You start putting stuff on the back burner. But God said, if you stand firm and you trust me, baby. Oh, y'all don't know what to come on, somebody. If you stand firm and trust me, boo, you will see your deliverance. And the same stuff that you went through before you met me. Oh, yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You ain't gonna never see those ninjas again. Ain't that what the scriptures say? Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about? The same thing that you've been through before we really got together good, you ain't got to worry about that because daddy going to take care of you. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about? Oh, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. I need, I need to talk to somebody who got love that's your language. Come on. Let God love you. And you receive his love. Because I guarantee nobody can really match how God loves. You want somebody in your life that will strive to love like him. You want to get position where you can strive to love like him. Yes, Lord. Thank That's you. the only way you're going to get your deliverance. Thank you, Lord. It's to understand that he loves you enough to give it to you. Thank you, Lord. Y'all stand on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, precious Holy Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love. Thank you, Yes, hallelujah. We thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, Jesus. For your compassion. Yes, Lord. For your heart. Thank for your commitment thank in this you, relationship. Yes, Lord. And Lord, thank you. there have been times I ain't been committed. Yes, Lord. It's been times where I've neglected you. Yes, yes Lord. And it's been times I've been mad at you. Yes, yes. But God, I repent. Yes. And I reunite my relationship yes, with you. Lord. And I put it back on track. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I declare in Jesus' name that you're mine and I'm yours. Yes. Yes. And that I will trust you to heal me. Yes. I will trust you to lead me. Yes, Lord. And I will trust you to guide me. Yes. And we will forever give you all the glory. Yes. All the honor. Hallelujah. And all the praise. Yes. In the matchless name yes. of Jesus. Jesus. Everyone agreed and said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Come yes. on and praise him. Come on and lift him up. Yes. Come on and give him a righteous praise. Yes. Come on and praise him out your spirit. Come on and praise him out your heart.
Shut up. What am I about to tell you to do? Shut up. Well, turn. Walk, walk is better. Stop. Get that from us under you. She's asking for a healing in her body. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So this is as far as you can lift your arm, right? As far as you do straight, if you can, keep it straight. That's all you can do. Bones fall in line. Now, 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 now. Yes, Lord. Yes. Spray.
Does anyone else need prayer?
Why are you in the bank? Okay. Amen. I'm watching you. <laughs> Is everyone gotten everything they needed today? Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't we do offering? And then I'm going to close out and pray over the whole service. How's that? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's put a little music on. Amen. 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 We're going to start our next service at 2 30. Amen. 2.30. Amen, y'all. Amen. One day I'm gonna end on time, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Precious Heavenly Father, we speak to the wealth. Yes. We cause it to increase yes. and multiply on both sides. And we thank you for it. Thank you, Lord. A hundredfold anointing. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. Everyone agreed and said, Amen. 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 Please read your announcements in our newsletter. And I'm going to repeat them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you for what you've done today. Yes, Lord. We speak that every prophetic word, every prayer, even yes, the word that was preached for me, yes, be an accurate word yes, and will manifest exactly as you have called it. Yes. We thank you for every miracle that's taken place on today, that it will not undo, that it will carry on and be a testimony of your power and glory. Yes, we thank you for every impartation that's taken place today, yes, every yes. deliverance that's taken place yes, today, every Lord. healing. Oh, we just thank you. Take this sweet, clean, yes. fresh spirit yes. Yes. and let us carry it with us yes. all year long. Yes. 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 And we thank you, Lord, thank and we you. believe you. And we ask you, Lord, to upgrade us yes. to a higher place. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, and everyone agreed and said, Amen. 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 Amen.